it's right in front of me. Except where did the tornado go? Thursday, April 17th was an easy forecast. The day before, we produced a special update for the Omaha, Nebraska area. They could produce large hail up to the size of pool balls. That's damaging. Weather models are also spitting out a couple rotation tracks, so we could see an isolated tornado too, especially somewhere near Omaha or right near the river. One storm near Omaha, if this model holds, might produce a tornado or two. On the night of April 16th, I flew to Des Moines, Iowa and I picked up my hail freezer in the airport. The next morning, it was go time. So if we can get dew points in near 60, that tornado threat would increase. As I suspected, moisture measured by dew points would overachieve. By mid-afternoon, I was in Blair, Nebraska, just north of Omaha. It was actually the same town I'd witnessed a tornado in on April 26th, 2024, barely a year prior. I think in the next two-ish hours, give or take, we see supercells erupt near or just to my west, right along something called a triple point where warm, humid air, hot, dry air, and cooler, dry air all kind of meet. Storms bubbled up about 50 miles west of Omaha during the early evening. The chase was on. There were two supercells that looked ominous. Both were intensifying. After glancing at machine learning models and checking the environment, I chose the northern one. We now have a funnel cloud. It's gonna be tough to see, but there's a funnel cloud in there, possible tornado nearing Fremont. As the supercell strengthened, it kicked up a miniature dust storm of sorts. All right, gang, supercell and lots of dust. There's a rotating part of the storm. It's a little high based. We're near Fremont, Nebraska, heading east. This is also near Nickerson. If you're in the area, tornado warning effect, get to seek shelter now. Because it was dry, the storm's base was a little too high to produce a tornado, or so I thought. But the air ahead of the storm was an ominous bluish green. I knew it had to be producing giant hail. Storm right now, right near the tip of the hook. And I do see a small funnel type appendage thingy. There it is. Tornado. All right, again, siren sounding on my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci. There's a tornado near Fort Calhoun. You can see the entire thing is just incredibly structured. It's an elevated storm, and yet it's still producing a pretty stout tornado that's moving right in my direction. Off to the north, the forward flank downdraft. It is green, it is rippling with hail. It is crazy up there. And then over here, obviously the tornado, but look right there. Wow. So you can see something called the RFD cut, a punch of dry air wrapping in like this. Significant tornado right now heading in my direction. That's when I got this incredible panorama showing the high-based EF3 tornado. It was like an umbilical cord connecting the spiraling sky to the ground below. It's down here somewhere. We're getting giant hail now. Ooh, ha ha ha. Oh, it's right in front of me. No, it's right here. Which way is it going though? Oh, fudge. There's the end of the tornado. But look at this. We're also getting some very large hail here in Fort Calhoun. The tornado was on the ground for 8.26 miles. It caused EF3 damage with 140 mile per hour winds, demolishing a well-constructed home and tossing RVs like toys. After the first intercept, that storm crossed over into Iowa, so I decided to blast south to the next supercell. 
interesting the amount of like random clear air bolts. Wow, like that one right there. Meteorologists call this a CG barrage. CG stands for cloud to ground lightning. A sudden spike in lightning activity is often a precursor to tornado genesis. By then, the supercell was spinning like a top. All right, gang, am I right? Oh my gosh, that's why I'm staying in the car. My radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci. And yeah, you're seeing insane, insane clear air lightning with this thing. I don't ask for much. Wow, that spin is right over me. That's so cool. It's going to, it's going to soon. It's going to right in there. All right, gang, and my radar meteorologist, Matt Pucci, here's a rotating wall cloud about to move into Tabor in Nebraska. Again, right here, tornado likely to plant there. In the next few moments, I'm stepping inside due to the lightning threat. But again, here's the whole thing spinning, edge of the supercell. Any minute now, we could see a tornado plant right there from that wall cloud. I drove through the town of Tabor, Iowa. A tornado was moments away from forming. All right, gang, it's difficult to tell exactly what's going on here. Obviously, the entire thing is rotating. This is the wall cloud. I genuinely can't tell if that's a wannabe spin up. I mean, it looks to have some tighter spin down there. All right, gang, and my radar meteorologist, Matt Spucci, confirmed tornado near Tabor, Nebraska. I can hear the roar. It is passing just to myself. Again, a big tornado, a strong tornado moving towards Randolph. Randolph, you need to be in shelter now. Lowest floor of whatever building you're in, avoid windows. Ultimately, the hail would cost me a windshield, but oh well. Now, my nighttime photography didn't turn out great, but we still got a front row seat to witness the atmosphere's most extreme, and that's a win in my book. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.